Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Now in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can make a singing human video, okay? So how can you actually create a video where you can actually have your character sing? So in human video, you can see you'll have this tab here that says the checkbox, my character will be singing. And if I go back to the 2D or 3D, you also see that it is available here. And if you go to the animal video, you'll also have that available uh, in all of these different styles of video. So let's go for the first example of a human video. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, if you want your character to be singing, okay, so there will be no text-to-speech or anything like that. Your character will be assigned so the AI will detect uh, the lyrics or the song, the audible. Okay, in terms of the audio, what the how the AI will process your audio file. So if you've got uh, vocals uh, with a background track, it will actually separate the background uh, music track and the speech or the vocals uh, within that audio file. So it will separate it and then it will match the um, the vocals with the lip syncing ability of the face and the um, the character in question. And then later on when rendering, it will actually put back uh, the background music uh, having laid it with the facial movements and the lip sync okay so that's how essentially it works uh, I'm sure you don't want to know that but that's uh, some uh, I guess really interesting information to know so uh, let's go ahead and let's select so depending on your ratio as you probably know before if you want to have 16 by 9 you can that's typical for like YouTube videos or TV desktop laptops etc etc um, and then you have 9 by 16 which is predominantly more for mobile phone responsive videos like TikTok, Instagram Shorts, um, Instagram, uh, Instagram or YouTube Shorts and other devices that will have it in this kind of format like TikTok, et cetera, et cetera. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and select my character will be singing. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and select. Um, we've got a choice of using a previous character. Just this actually helps the, the workflow, makes things a lot more easy and streamline it. Um, or we can actually create a new character from scratch. So let's go for this one. Let's go for a brand new character from scratch. Let's go for, um, let's actually, let's have a look. Uh, I might be in this as well. So I may have an image. Let's have a look. Okay, let's go for the media library. You can do this from scratch as well if you want to create your own uh, character. So here's mine. And I can actually go and I can update this if I so desire. So I can say smart, um, smart dressed professional male. Okay, tall and big beard. Okay, now with this, I can actually add a negative prompt, anything that I don't want the AI to create. So say, for example, if I don't want any gray hairs, or maybe I don't want any long hair, or maybe I don't want to have a particular color in the creation of the um, the graphic, essentially, that's something I can put in there. However, I'm not going to put anything there. And then we also have the ability of taking this right here, this text, and select extract extend prompt and it'll take that content there um, and it'll actually go ahead and it will create something a little bit more extensive uh, hence why extend extend prompt so if I go now here and you can see it's got tall imposing professional dressed in smart attire with well uh, with a large and well-groomed beard standing confidently in a modern office setting sophisticated elegant fashion etc etc so you kind of get the gist of it it's a very long extensive prompt however uh, if we want we can actually go and we can customize that we can change things around we can remove things uh, and we can customize it depending on exactly what we're looking for or if you want to take the um the essentially hard work or the creative element out of it and save uh, your time <laughs> and your brain power then just allow the ai to come up with something um something unique Okay, so once I've done that, I can actually go ahead and select generate. And remember, the way all the the, the, the way this is going to work is once you actually put an image in inside the face or swap section, so you can drag and drop, or you can go to the media library. Uh, you don't have to, but this is an option if you want to kind of impose your own facial construct on to the character that's generated. Uh, that's something you can do, or you can have something completely from scratch and not actually put any image of yourself. Or maybe you're doing this for a client, or maybe friends or family, or maybe you're just um, you know creating comedy style videos, or maybe it's a seasonal greeting card or maybe a birthday card or something may maybe a little bit more emotional with a loved one that might have passed away etc etc so um 
that's essentially some of the reasoning or thinking behind it. But what you'll see with the face swap ability, as I mentioned probably previously in another tutorial, that it will take aspects of the face when it comes to the facial aspect like the eyes and the indentation or even the, the facial construction. And you can kind of see now that has been created. So there's a character has now been created and we have the ability of downloading that i can actually take that and use that as a download or i can change the style of the clothing maybe the the, the color of the tie um the little pocket hanky uh, even the belt uh, the background if i want this a little bit more realistic i can because it is slightly looking cartoony-ish but you can make this more human appealing or a little bit more close to uh, the human side of it however i think for this is a great um demonstration let's just go ahead with this so once i've, I've selected this i always want to go to the next uh button here however just always remember i always say as a rule of thumb you don't have to but uh, if you like it and you're going to go ahead with this and you confirmed it just get the download of the image because this is going to be really important because it can be used again for, with other uh, uh, social media elements or any type of media that you're creating with a thumbnail, maybe an ebook, uh, maybe some kind of graphic cover, any kind of design content. This will come in you so uh, you can actually remove the background later on. You can place this anywhere you want. So it's very, very uh, smart way of uh, just keeping all of that content that you've created. So go ahead and select next. Next, we're gonna assign a motion. And remember when you're selecting a motion for this, um, it doesn't matter if the character is male or female, or whatever they're wearing, because uh, that's not how your end result or your end character will look like. These are just for preview purposes, okay? So don't, don't be uh, concerned about that whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's select, um, let's go for something a little bit excited, okay? So excited and dancing. I select next. Now this is the important part. So you want to select your music track with the vocals and a background track. Uh, let's go for this one right here. I select next. And then we go to the all important part is getting that video rendered. So let's just say a uh, singing professional video. Video. And I can even type in human version. Okay. One. So once I go ahead and I select render video, you will now see that it is now in the queue. It can take up to 20 minutes for that to go through the pipeline. And we can see now, like so, it is now gonna um, start getting rendered. So just uh, another aspect of this is that, you know, once you're in there, if you wanna make another uh, versions, the fastest way, once the AI creates that video, you can also go ahead and select duplicate and then you can use that same character uh, and the same clothing, etc., uh, etc. Et and you can go ahead with that. So hopefully you've enjoyed this very short tutorial, but that's how you would essentially create a singing character and just kind of run through it again. So you can see this, we can do this for any other style that we want to create. Even if it's an animal video, just make sure you select my character will be singing. Let's go for a mobile version this time. Um, let's go for, let's go for, um, let's create a new character here. Let's female, actually um, female cat, happy. Okay, and what I like, I can extend that prompt so I don't have to do it myself. Uh, it's always gonna come up with something a little bit more far advanced than I could create. Uh, being human, I'm limited. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is a great way of just speeding up the process by giving me something a little bit more uh, with depth, I would say, a bit more uh, high level creation. So you could have got a nice little cat there, happy female cat with big, bright, expressive eyes. I can download that if I want. So that can come useful for my um, thumbnail. I select next, import the audio. So here you can see you can actually upload your audio. So remember with the media library, that's where you would create the audio. And remember with when you're creating these singing videos, you cannot do text to speech or you cannot um, voice record directly as you'll see that option because we have ticked off that box when it comes to our character will be singing. So once I've done that, I go to next and we will type in um, singing cat video uh, and we can say animal video okay animal video one uh, once we've done that select render video and that's it that's how quick the process is i mean we can do this very very quickly it takes no time whatsoever so uh, we give a few moments for that and allow that to be processed so so these have popped up so let's have a quick look okay so what you'll see I'm gonna mute that so you'll see how uh, with the animals because there's so much happening you'll just see the facial features uh, that will be moving and singing 
um, or moving in sync with the lyrics. Okay, so that's uh, the first video of the cat. And then you've got my one here. And you can see how dynamic and how everything is moving so nicely. And even you know, the uh, animation of the background, how it's all changing, that's all done. We don't need to do anything that is done for us. And even the way the, the light breaks, there's a separation between the background and the character, the object. So very high level stuff when it comes to, um, you know, uh, video animation and uh, production okay especially when you're recording scenes so this was a quick little video so i uh, just want to quickly show you that and how it looks the end product so yeah go ahead and create amazing singing videos